Whoa! How is this humanly possible? Oh, oh, no way. <laughs> I've tracked down Tim to a theatre just off the strip, where I'm told he's rehearsing his act. Tim. Hey. How are you doing? I'm good. You're known as the torture king. What do you do? Uh, yes, I'm doing things that should cause pain, should cause injury, hopefully survive with minimal pain and minimal injury. It's actually um, pain defiance is what I'm doing. Is that something I could see now? I could show you something right now. Oh, that arm looks real. And pain? You're feeling any pain or no pain um, or...? I can feel pressure. Ugh. You can see. That is a lot of pressure. Oh, 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 no way. Do you want to pull it out? No, but yes. Oh, that's so solid. I'm going to push forward with it. Oh, wow, wow. That is a lot of... Oh. Any suspicions I had that Tim's pain-defying stunts are just an illusion are disappearing fast. How is this humanly possible? Look at that. Here it is. Oh! That's your whole body weight. I get every bit of broken glass. Oh! How is this done? Well, there's techniques, there's physics behind it that will kind of minimize my, uh, my uh, injury here, but it is dangerous, things go wrong, and it is uh, broken glass. Washing it down. I need to know more about Tim's incredible pain-proof powers. Pain happens for one simple reason, to protect us. When your body's injured, nerves in the affected area send a message via the spinal cord to the brain about what's going on. Your brain registers it and sends a message back making you feel pain in that area. I'm taking Tim to the Las Vegas clinic of a leading pain specialist. I'm hoping he can uncover a medical explanation for Tim's mind-blowing abilities. Please, please tell me we've got some interesting results. This is fascinating. Tim's right hemisphere completely blocked the pain. His brain just shut that off, and it became very idle. And what's that compared to mine? Your brain was working a lot because it doesn't know how to disconnect from the pain. Tim, on the other hand, has control over his body with his mind, so he can disconnect his outer neocortex and not actually feel the pain. Wow, I'm getting a sense this is, for you as a neuroscientist, pretty exciting. It's quite remarkable. I've never seen anything like this in my life. OK, so I'm in an out-of-town industrial estate looking for Tim. And he's invited me here because he wants to show me his ultimate stunt. Tim. Hey. Good to see you. What is this? Well, this is a demonstration I'm going to do uh, with a motorcycle. <laughs> OK. Get the idea? The motorcycle a... goes over. It's a bed of nails. Whoa! And you're on the bed of I'm nails. I'm between it, sandwiched in between the motorcycle and nails underneath me. Pretty far spaced apart. You can feel these. These are from... Uh, Hardware store, I haven't done anything oh, with them, yeah. just as they, they are hammered. They're through. real. You want to see the damage the nails can do? Yeah. Oh, that sounds pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs> you are crazy. This is next level. It makes sticking a needle through your arm look like child's play. If it goes wrong, it goes very wrong. Yes. Tim's preparing himself mentally for the stunt. And I'm keeping out of his way so as not to distract him. I am genuinely worried. How's it feeling, Tim? Oh, I'm pretty apprehensive. OK. Everybody ready? You all right? Whoa! 
Whoa! We got some serious indentations there. His mental control is so strong that his brain can register pain and then simply ignore it. He definitely is an extraordinary human. That's all I've got to say.